Capricorn, this is your love reading for October 2019. Keep in mind it is a general read, so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check your moon, rising or Venus signs. So starting out, I feel as though there is an energy of someone you're attracted to or someone you want to pursue. And I feel as though this is a connection or someone you've had your eye on for quite some time. But it's almost as though... I'm feeling this energy that there could be frustration about how slow it's going or that it's not getting off the ground. I just feel as though this, I do feel it's a genuine connection and there is the potential for love or romance here, but it's almost as though communication isn't starting or things aren't flowing the way you'd hope for. So at the bottom of the deck, we do have the hermit. And for me, this is indicating that there is a spiritual bond here. There is some sort of soulmate or deeper connection between you and this individual. I also think this hermit is indicating that there's a need for more self-healing in, in particular in regards to how you perceive your worth. I was hearing earlier and also just some final healing to really release some painful patterns that you may have experienced in the past. Because I can see like with the nine of swords, the five of cups, there's these fears or these disappointments, but I don't feel as though they're, it's not that they're not real. Like we have a certain perception and that is real for us, but I'm, I feel as though it doesn't pertain to this new individual. It's almost as though this nine of swords energy and this five of cups is emanating or stemming from many difficult relationships in the past or just painful experiences. But spirit is trying to bring you in this new lover or partnership and it's almost like it's not coming together as smoothly as perhaps you hoped or I'm hearing even as the divine would like to have orchestrated it because I do feel there's just a little more kind of self-love or self-growth that needs to happen just to release this energy so that this king of wands energy can come into your life or if you've already met this person because I do feel a lot of you have your eye on someone it could just be that in order for them to fully connect with you or to stabilize this union in physicality, there's just a little more healing that needs to happen. So with the King of Wands, some of you may be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries or Sagittarius. But at the very least, I think this is a passionate person and I think they're very much a go-getter. I'm also hearing their energy may be drastically different to your own. I feel as though Capricorn, your energy is a little more stable or I'm also hearing you're a little more... Um, you have more trepidation about moving forward. I feel like this person is someone that just runs in without even considering, whereas you are quite, you're quite confident and calculated in discerning your path and discerning what serves you. For a lot of you as well, I think you're, you're making sure that this connection or this person, or at least you will be in the month of October, that they're solid. Their offering is solid and it's not going to end in these types of energies because we also have the seven of swords. So I do feel as though Capricorn, you're almost, I'm almost hearing you're putting them in like a waiting period. It's almost like this energy that you're going to observe them and watch them for a period of time to make sure they deserve a place in your life. Now with the five of cups, I do think this potential union has the ability to become the two of cups. In fact, it's got the ability to become the 10 of cups, which is why we have that as the outcome. So this is a very powerful, beautiful union, and I do not think at all that it will manifest or reflect past experiences you've had. I'm also hearing that this person is nothing like past connections or partners. So it could be that this energy is so drastically different to what you've experienced. You're experiencing a certain level of trepidation or fear towards whether this this type of partner can fit into your future. But I think they very much can. I definitely can see so much potential here. And I'm also hearing they're going to push you ahead or there's someone that it's almost as though they light a fire beneath you. They create this uh, passion and this dynamic energy, but they're also very loving. It's almost the personality. They may appear quite extroverted or loud or intense, but beneath the surface, they're very loving. And I think their intentions and their feelings towards you are incredibly genuine. I do think they want to love and give to you in a very healthy way. But with the two of swords in the past, I think 
I think this is quite, it's quite difficult for you to move forward. I do feel there has been movement, but it's almost like you go back and forth Capricorn. And with the nine of swords, I think it's just back and forth in your own mind. It's almost this energy of deliberating. And what I was saying about this waiting time, it's almost like I see scales going like this and you're like pros, cons, pros, cons, and you're just assessing how this person will fit into your future, first of all, but whether it's worth the risk. There's something around fears of taking this step or moving it forward and it hurting you like it has in the past. And I'm also hearing with this Nine of Pentacles, you don't, you are in a quite strong and independent energy yourself. And I think that has come about through um, with the Hermit as well, through self-reflection, independence. I think you've done a lot of work on yourself. And these are more just the lingering mental fears around embracing this new partner, connection or lover. But I think you're almost afraid to have this person throw you off your game is what I'm hearing. Because I think you've really had to work hard and fought, fought quite solidly to attract and receive the love you do deserve. And I think you're not really willing or wanting to allow anything to hinder your progress. Now with the five of wands, I think in the past you've dealt with a lot of drama and chaos. Perhaps you're worried with this um, King of Wands energy that they will bring some of this to your life as well. For the Capricorns I'm connecting with, I feel as though your energy right now is very, very stable, but it's almost so stable that you're, you're almost not fully moving forward. There's this sense of, you know, oscillate like one step forward, two steps back. There's this, this fear around fully charging ahead and moving towards this union, but you are showing up as the page of coins. So I do think you will offer or you hope to offer a very stable connection and partnership with this individual, but they may be approaching you with this offer and you're here receiving it. But there is this energy that something is coming towards you and it's up to you whether you want to build on this and stabilize it because it does have a lot of potential and the opportunity to be something long lasting because in your environment we have the six of wands and I think that's victory but I also think this person will bring you success across the board there's something about their energy I'm hearing they're very ambitious so it's almost like this person with this lighting a fire within you you may even go into business together or they support your dreams your abundance they help you build in some sort of way not just in a romantic sense there's definitely this energy that they can help you on your path. And with the seven of swords, I think that's your fear in this connection. For some of you, I think you've experienced betrayal or abandonment or loss. And you're very afraid of almost being taken by this person's charisma and their energy. And their I'm hearing their vibrancy, but then being struck with this later on. And part of why you're oscillating or uncertain about moving forward is you, you want to make sure that you're certain that this won't happen in your future before you approach them or any sort of solid offer is made. And I mean, that is valid, but I think there's a certain level of mental healing and clearing that needs to occur in order for this connection to get off the ground. Now, finishing on the 10 of cups, you can't get a better ending than the 10 of cups. That's amazing. That's true love. It's stability. And it's a very honest, grounded and faithful connection. And I think that's exactly what you have here, Capricorn. It's, it's more a matter of trusting and also just healing some of these fears within your own being so that you can allow yourself to receive this Ten of Cups. Because I think that's exactly what spirit is delivering to you. And for a lot of you, I feel like you know this person. I do sense this person is already around you and you've got some sort of awareness of them. It's just this uncertainty or fear around fully stepping forward and reaching out to them. Or perhaps you are waiting for them to kind of reach out to you. But I do think there's a really beautiful long-term relationship here. So with the Oracle cards, we also have unconditional love. And I think that perfectly summarizes this connection. I'm also hearing you need to love yourself unconditionally. And I heard the saying, you need to love yourself through the fear. So for some of you that are experiencing fear, doubt, wanting to pull back, you need to just love yourself through this experience and allow yourself to receive. So with abundance from within, this ties in for me about self-worth, about staying in this energy of the nine of pentacles and really 
enjoying yourself, building yourself up and loving on yourself. Because I'm hearing for some of you, Capricorn, you might be quite harsh or critical of yourself. It's almost this mental pattern of beating yourself up or constantly analyzing and oscillating. Like I could have done this better. I could have taken this path. There's just this energy that you almost, um, you beat yourself up a little bit with whatever you choose. It's like no matter what step you take, it's not quite right. And I think spirit is just asking you to soften your energy a little bit and be really loving and compassionate with yourself because that will help draw in this energy of the Ten of Cups. And with rose petals, I, I feel like someone's receiving flowers or you will, when you connect with this person, I think they're very romantic. They'll give to you in a way that's really um, quite enticing. So I'm just going to clarify the Five of Cups. <laughs> Five of Cups is clarified by the Hermit. So I think you've learned certain spiritual lessons, but they were very painful and they resulted in some sort of disappointment or rejection in regards to love. And I think they still plague you on some level. So I do, I am definitely feeling this energy that there needs to be a little more kind of spiritual work or just self-reflection to help you release this energy. So you can not only see these two cups, because I think you see this person and you see the potential here. It's about you picking them up. And really um, charging ahead. So I clarify the two of swords. Okay. Judgment. So in the month of October, I believe you will be making a final decision in regards to this person. I think you will be acting on it. I think October is the month where you not only gain clarity around what you deserve and you kind of finalize any healing process that you've been going through, but you then articulate it and verbalize it to this person or they do so to you. I definitely think October is a month where you fully make the decision on whether you want to embark on this connection and then it's expressed to both parties if it hasn't been already. It's almost as though October is the month of clearing emotionally and energetically to prepare yourself for this union. So I'll clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Hang on, too many cards fell out. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So I have the High Priestess. I think you're really tapping into your intuitive knowledge in regards to this situation. But I think also the high priestess has done a lot of spiritual work. And yet again, I can see this essence or this energy around you going to your next level of spiritual evolution and growth. And that's partly what opens the door to this connection and allows it to come into full bloom. I also think with the high priestess, you sense that this person is not necessarily the one, but your divine partner. There's some sort of intuitive messages you've been receiving about this person and their significance. And with the Nine of Swords, though, you may be doubting it or I'm hearing you may just be afraid of how beautiful this bond and this connection is. It's, it's almost got this sense that it's otherworldly or it's beyond what you could have imagined or dreamt for yourself. And it's almost that energy of how could I be receiving this like you know, how, how has this person just come into my world? It's almost shock at how beautiful this bond and relationship really is. So I'll clarify the five of wands. Okay, so we have death. And another card just fell out. We have five of pentacles. So with this combination, I'm very much feeling as though you're putting an end, this being left out in the cold or some sort of rejection or loss you've experienced in the past is not only hindering your thoughts and your mind, but it's hindering this connection. But I think it's also, it's the ending of this feeling. I think with this particular partner, spirit is assuring that you're not going to experience some of these difficulties that you've had in the past. You are going to receive a love and a connection that truly, that wants you as much as you want it. It's very much putting an end to these negativity, the negativity, but it's also putting an end to scarcity, um, consciousness, or just thoughts about lacking worth or that you can't receive this person or this connection in full. Because I think spirit is very much affirming that it's bringing it in for you. 
And it's a matter of you clearing out the, the past and this old energy so that it can fully come into alignment with you and your world. So clarify the page of coins. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So I think you will be making the choice to build with this person and I think they will be building with you. And even better, we have the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck now. So I think this just affirms how much abundance is available. But with Ten of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, it can be signifying career. So I do think with the Ten of Cups, I do think this is love, but I see you building a family together, a foundation I also see you potentially working together or they they give you some sort of boost to your confidence or your drive that leads you to venture on a path or direction that you've wanted to, but you didn't have the confidence to take before. So I do see this abundance is coming about partly through your engagement with this person and how they affect you. I do feel in this connection, you are going to be feeling so loved, valued, just so radiant and beautiful that... It inspires you to really work not only on yourself, but on your dreams, your business, your finances. It's almost like through this combination, and it is that sense of a power couple that both of you rise to a new level of standing and growth than you thought, or that would have been possible on your own. So it's a really beautiful energy, Capricorn. If you enjoyed the reading, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.